Tell us what's exciting news. It's exciting that we're going to be able to do our dishes not in freezing cold lake water. And why is that? Because freezing cold lake water. No, I mean, why are we going to be able to do our dishes? <laughs> because we finally got a hot water heater. Holla! Holla! That's not good. There goes something else in the lake. We're going to have to buy an entire new hot water heater. It was only like five days late, but we got it. But we got it. That's all that matters. We're going to pull this one out. And then we're going to put the other one in. And that's that. And hopefully, during this process, we're not going to drop anything in the lake. <laughs> hopefully, y'all are not like keeping count of the number of things that are directly underneath our house on the lake bed right now because it's probably a small section. When Sarah and I built this place, I designed the water system so that when you cut the water off at the spigot, it drains all the water in the house. So that way you can winterize the house in two seconds. Look where someone didn't paint the back side of the house. Oh. We're not going to talk about that. If you're going to hook up a gas line, you need to have the proper pipe tape. It's yellow. Or at least it is in this country. And yellow is for gas. You don't want to blow up. It makes life go by very quick when you blow up. <laughs> Try it out. Okay, I think this is the only time I have ever been excited to do the dishes. <laughs> like, definitely the only time ever. But we we did our dishes the first couple days, but it was just so difficult. Like, I don't know if y'all have ever tried to do dishes with uh, freezing cold water, but it's almost like it freezes things onto the dishes rather than like helping at all with getting stuff off. So, anyways. We kind of just let it all sit here and stockpile the last couple of days. And mess has stressed me out, so I'm really psyched to finally be getting this taken care of. That's anybody three finger roll. Three finger roll is just a Earl Scruggs on steroids. The real banjo pickers.
everybody. Uh, it's another beautiful day on Fontana Lake. What a stark contrast to our video last week, right? <laughs> I mean, it couldn't get much prettier today. If only the water was not like 50 degrees. Oh, I'm just taking a little breather. My feet got tired. I thought paddle boarding would be more like core exercise. Not that it's not, but I just feel like my feet are really what is feeling the brunt of the workout here. Interesting. It is amazing how quiet it is out here. Hi, buddy. I have a friend. How do you do that? You are literally walking on water. Amazing. Miracle of surf extension. Okay, so we did cross a few projects off our list this week. We ran Waterline to several of our neighbors. Brandon did really, you know, through the marina in an official capacity, but on a personal level, that was so nice to get that water line off of our work boat. I'm sure y'all have not even noticed that sitting there, but I notice every day. <laughs> I've been like so ready to get that project done. We just ran 1,500 feet of water line all the way from where it ended at our house to this place that's on the outside edge of this harbor. If you follow us on Instagram, you already know I repotted a few of my plants and got a new Zanzibar to replace that horrid looking, just sad, I don't even know what it was. I really have a knack at killing plants, um, house plants, which is ironic given that I am a forester, but that's, you know, totally different, totally different. More squirrels. Anyways, okay, I'm gonna try and stand up and not, you know, splish splash. Mm. Okay, oh, I'm gonna start paddling back now. I left Iko on the dock and she probably really misses me, so let's go head on back, see the bear. I would kill to be able to put Iko on this board and take her with me, but the last two times that I tried that with other boards, it did not go well. In fact, I think it was downright traumatizing for her. <laughs> she absolutely flipped out and abandoned ship almost immediately. So if you happen to have a dog that like used to be really scared of getting on the paddleboard and is now not, please share in the comments like what did you do? What is your secret? I must know because I would just I would love to just paddle into the sunset with my bear bear. Maybe one day. Hello. You having fun with mom's now, huh? What do you think? Okay, let's tell everybody bye. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next week. <laughs>